be a difficult lane for him. It looks like Yol is making a rotation towards the top lane. They're all taking so much damage. Illidan is almost dead. RMN is going to be the first blood. That's going to go to Bambo. And Yol is joining here by both seven. He can do a lot of damage with the Burning Spears. Unfortunately, it is level one. It's not massive damage, but the damage over time is going to stack up. Mid lane, there's going to be a dive sync thing going on to PC. It's going to be a lot of Huskar. He just needs his armor and then they can, they can just start going ham. I think that's the game plan for them. Oh, the slow on to Yol. The wave turn, not gonna hit actually. Illidan jumping in. Wanna go on Bone 7. He's gonna get the kill on him. Illidan wave is on time. And Illidan, you wanna turn it on to the Vengeful Spirit as well. Still moving the strength. He is gonna go down at the end. Fortunately, Venge is gonna go down as well. Bambo. Speedy. Flying in the speedy. I think he's gonna be okay. Yol is out of here. Um, on seven, gonna get slowed down, gonna get stunned up. He can turn and fight this. I don't know why he's not doing that. Stun on your bone seven is still running. I'm really surprised that it didn't go on. And in fact, on the other place of the map, they are gonna get a kill on the bat rider. Nice is getting turned on now. That's four heroes. Bone seven finally turning and hitting something, but that's too little, too late. He's gonna get slowed down now. Do they have the help? Sing Sing making his way over here, thinking maybe they can turn this. Again, about the play, it's, it's an amazing game for BCZ to get Aghanims. In the meantime, he's getting gone on, he's getting silenced up. They need some more damage, though. They just don't have enough in Sing Sing. Not in the position, and actually, Pimple. Oh, Turn it on again, yo, with the stun. Oh, the courier. Not willing to jump in for that. Top lane, silence, onto Yo, wave of terror, they're starting to turn this, Bone 7, he needs to man up on Yo, kill him, but they're backing off again, Bone 7, getting the hit, now with the chrono though, and Nihis is stuck in there, but Bone 7 from the outside, doing a lot of damage, that's gonna be Armin, Grave is gonna be there though, in time, Illidan's gonna go down, Armin, unfortunately, not unfortunately, he's gonna get the kill on the vengeful grid, but he's gonna go down as well, so he is not gonna get baited. Yolf and Invisory is gonna scout out the void. If they can kill him, that's gonna be great for them. He's gonna get the jump out though. Lasso, Flame Break is gonna push him back long enough to be able to get the lasso on him. But that's a level three. Oh no, again, the chrono on three people. Do they have enough though? Armin is waiting with the grave. Oh my god, he almost. Oh, he didn't get it. What? I, foresaw your death I thought he was the waiting for it. How did they not get more money for PC? Get it out in time. And more aggression now. They got vision on yo. He's a pretty fast and fat ogre. Can they stop him from keeping out? They don't need to. That damage. Mystic flare. How much? How much damage is it? So, yeah, it's a lot. They're jumping forward. They're gonna go on BZZ. You know, he's getting silenced up. That should be a lot of damage from Bone 7. BZZ with the ultimate. It doesn't even matter. And in the meantime, stop lane. Looks like our man is gonna be long. Oh, gonna take it. Oh, wow. That looked like he. Lane. They know. They realize exactly what he's about to do. They need to get a pretty good jump here with the band, but they're gonna run in. Now they need to get the sounds before he gets the ultimate. It doesn't matter though, maybe they have the damage. Chrono is used as well. Misty Flirt into it. That is plenty of damage. And Yol, he TP'd in there. He is such a sad ogre right now. Dominating streak for Bone 7, but in the next five minutes. Because this should be another tower for Kaip with at least with the Aegis. Oh, mid lane. They found Ermin. He sounds up. He's bashed up. Your soul. That's gonna be a Lincoln's for the coon. Top lane, they want Sing Sing. He just bought his bloodstone. I feel like I've seen this movie before. <laughs> it happened the last game. He's jumping back. Wait, what? Sing Sing stunned up. Second stun is gonna be no. You already used Timber Chain. You were dead. Sing Sing. He's regening up. That armor is doing a lot of work. He's trying to juke his way. He doesn't want to use that suicide. He just bought the bloodstone. Oh, the tree. There is an old tree, Sing Sing. Oh, and he's not even gonna be able to suicide. Tree, I agree with you, Sing Sing. There is no tree. I mean, they just need to take all tier two towers and they should probably do it together in the meantime though. They're gonna go on Eladin on top. He's gonna get sounds up, it doesn't matter. He's completely out of mana, I can't yet. I wanted to ask if they can burst him in time, but yeah. <laughs> with the veil and Mystic Flare and the damage from Sing Sing, just so much that th there's just no way that he can TP out from that. So. Gonna grab a uh, mid lane. Fireman. <laughs> gonna be okay. He knows how to armlet toggle, you know. He's gonna be fine. Venge? 
trying to man up on an ogre. I don't think that's the right decision. Backup is coming in in a second. Stun is gonna connect and you'll lose the help. Getting slowed down. He's gonna try and go for the deny, but a mega kill streak now for Bamboo. And in the mid lane, Bone 7 doing the damage to the tower. Already done. Oh, they grave that alchemist. <laughs> they dole the bad signs though. The Kuni's gonna get a chrono onto two arm and the grave's not gonna be available. He has a buyback if you wanna use it. Yo is gonna stun on that Lincoln Spear. Not gonna do that much. Illidan taking so much damage. He's still balanced up. Looking to clean up. And in fact, this fight is going terribly wrong for Kaipi. That's gonna be a buyback sensing. Taking a lot of damage. Getting controlled now. And after all that strength morph, it's gonna be a decently timed stun. Sing Sing going for the TP out. He's gonna be successful. Yeah, he got home. I feel like it should have gone better actually. Bone 7, he's alone here. Please, not like this. He's gonna jump in, they're gonna get an easy last on Bone 7. This should be the Bone 7, especially with the Dazzle here as well. He's just gonna AFK and buy items. I don't know. Um, so that's gonna be a decent start actually. BZZ taking so much damage from Sing Sing. He's gonna channel that stun, trying to get in on someone, but again on the Kuhn with the Ling. Is already kidding me. Another Kuhn is gonna come out. BZZ taking a lot of damage. He is gonna drop at the end. Illidan trying to do as much as he can actually do so much damage to Sexy Bamboo. Sexy Bamboo finally gonna drop, but that's gonna be a three for Sexy Bamboo. And uh, that is not a good trade for F5 now. Bat Rider, that's a pretty huge kill. That's our initiation. Um, I don't know how many buybacks they. Oh no. Oh, that's the Star Man. Never mind, guys. Bye, Iron Man. Stun him up. I There's Grave not nothing. He <laughs> did uh, buy back the last fight. So they're not gonna have the Grave for BZZ this time. Or the BZZ Replicate. <laughs> that was, uh, that was, um, play from them. Kunan the Hagan jumping for it, he's gonna get the chrono on BZZ, where's the backup though? Kaipi, they need to get here in time, they're gonna get the Mystic Flare on him, no grave for him, that's no buyback on BZZ, he bought back the last time. Kunan, he's gonna be okay, time walk away, negating all that damage, 65 seconds on the Alchemist now, and they can just go into the mid lane. Bone 7, doing are they just gonna walk in and do it? Oh, they're just walking and doing it. This is so scary, actually Bamboo is gonna get the vision, he did get the silence on the Batrider, unfortunately he got the blink away. Sing Sing, looking at Yol, BZZ channeling that sun. Yol's gonna turn, throw the sun on Bone 7. BZZ still fine, but now he's gonna get jumped on by, B by Bone 7. I'm sorry, but where did Dazzle? Our man, he's not in a position to save his alchemist, and BZZ is gonna go down again. Even the bench is still alive, and now the swap back right into Sing Sing hands or Sing Sing's uh, timber chains. I don't know. But <laughs> jumping forward, Chocolate's on Ghost Egg. He's gonna delay his death, but he is gonna go down at the end. I see they. They need him to drop down a little bit, just so he can... Okay, it's happening. Tower is getting slowly sieged. Bone 7 is getting gone on. Nice Lotus Orb. I'm gonna make sure that the sun is gonna get reflected. The tier 3 tower is almost down. Now he's gonna jump forward, actually. Bone 7 going on to the old chrono again. On to 2 on the back lines and on the dazzle. That's the most important target. Making sure that they're not gonna be able to save any targets. In the meantime, in the back lines, though, Bamboo is gonna go down. Sing Sing taking a lot of damage. BZZ is still manning up on this, but Bone 7 is still alive. The armlet toggles are actually doing the work. Ghost Stick gonna get the blink away, but it doesn't matter. That's only the Aegis now on Bone 7. Again, no buyback on the Alchemist. Ghost Stick teeping away, and there's still trying to catch Illidan, the Coon, Bash, Bash Lord? No. Dyer's Not happening. Stun on to Sing Sing. And this is gonna be the second lane of Wrath, I guess, unless something really crazy happens here. Um, I feel like the, the F5 lineup was just a tiny bit too greedy. Um, going for the Morphling Dyer's and the Alchemist, they just don't have enough early game to actually fight with lineup. And with the Hotscar that's jumping forward into their base, he's gonna get the kill on Ghostic. No, he's not actually, he's still in base. He's still kneeling up, but Yol is not gonna be as lucky. Bone 7 is still alive, the buildings are dropping. Still 17 seconds on the Alchemist. Dyer's bottom barracks has fallen. Their early game was just too long, and Illidan. I don't think they lost the top lane completely, but it was. He just. He was way too poor for. For too long in this game, and he's still pretty far behind. 3k behind both Void and the Cut Point. The Cocoon is, is basically uh, a carry, but Illidan is gonna get silenced up. Amanda is in time, but he doesn't have any replicates. He's just gonna get brought down. 70 seconds. I don't know what he was doing there. Maybe he wanted to kill the Bambo? This might be Megas. Creeps are. 
or at least did some work on the mid lane. Jump in, ghosting. <laughs> Quick Lotus Orb though, and another Chrono is gonna be on too. Again with a Dazzle, he can't save anyone with these Chronos, and that's why they banned Void versus the last game. That's gonna be the buyback from Ghostic, still looking for the initiation. The last one is still available. It's just, I don't know, it just feels like there's nothing they can do at this point. Um, I don't like calling games like this, you know, because you can always come back into the game. But with no buybacks, yeah, that's gonna be GG well played call by F5. And for anyone that doesn't know that, that means we're gonna go to a game three here. Uh, one seven in the meantime got some kill on the BCC. I don't know, somewhere in the top lane. Uh, that was a, I don't know what he was doing there. But I actually really liked this uh, this speed draft. Um, the early game aggression. The the Coon Void, the Chronos did so much. He ended the game 8 0 18. And that's not even that. It's not even the kills. He got.